Hi, I'm Stanley. I live in Singapore and um, I work as an educator and counsellor of sorts. Um, so I came across this video on YouTube. Uh, it's, it's a news channel uh, offering a religious perspective on suicide rates and, um, and I thought this would be very useful for educators, parents and uh, basically stressed out individuals um, in Singapore and all around the world and we we live in a very competitive society in Singapore and it is a fact that uh, time is of essence and sometimes we are so busy working we don't have time to sit down and uh, have a really deep conversations with uh, our loved ones and we tend to prejudge we tend to listen to advice and um, really, how many of us really just listen to people in need uh, with no preconceived judgment, with no uh, bias? And sometimes people who are going through extreme challenging circumstances, all they need is just a listening ear. And I thought these tips offered by um, uh, this lady uh, I'm very sure they're very helpful to busy folks like us. Go so here it is. Uh, Over to the end. So, what can we do to help people who are survivors of horrific things and l survivors of losing a loved one? Well, first, listen to them. Get them to open up to you. Listen to them without judgment. Use the lost loved one's name to show that the person is not forgotten. Accept the lost survivor's feeling, which can include shock, shame, and abandonment. Also, other ways to help survivors avoid using phrases like, I know how you feel, unless you too are a lost survivor. And avoid telling them how they should act or feel. And finally, be sensitive during the holidays and the anniversaries of the person's death. Yeah, I'm curious if, if you have and someone are wondering who if there are any there signs. Are, so pay attention to these. Uh, talking about wanting to die or to kill themselves. So pay attention to what they're saying. Looking for a way to kill themselves, like searching online or buying a gun. Talking about feelings of hopelessness or having no reason to live. Talking about feelings of being trapped or in unbearable pain. That's a big one talking about being a burden to others, increasing the use of alcohol or drugs, acting anxious or agitated, behaving recklessly, or sleeping too much or way too little. So folks, if you know someone who might be exhibiting these signs, even if you're looking at this list and it sounds like, hey,